Here in Philadelphia, the city's Department of Licenses and Inspections is investigating why a home porch collapsed in Hunting Park, taking several adjoining roofs down with it. Kelly, six homes involved here and affected, but fortunately nobody hurt. And the families were allowed to return home, but they, everybody wants to know what happened. Yes, yeah, certainly still a lot of concern out here. So we know that L and I crews were called out after the collapse. They worked into the afternoon to clean up the debris, but you can see there's still some cleaning up to be done and certainly some rebuilding. And again, it is still unclear what caused this, and it certainly has some people worried. It is horrible, as you can see. Nivelle Turner's surveillance camera captured the moment his roof came crashing down on Pulaski Avenue around 9.45 this morning. Fortunately, it happened while his family was safe inside. Neighbor Robin Siegel's home had the same fate, and she says she only walked out her door 10 minutes before. And it was horrible. It could have been more tragic than what it really is, because we could have been injured. My husband and I had just left. The city's Department of Licenses and Inspections says an inspector was called to the home on Pulaski Avenue right off of Hunting Park Avenue for a porch roof that collapsed and took down five adjoining roofs with it. Miraculously, no one was hurt. I just heard a big boom, and when I came downstairs, I just seen the roof coming down, just shattering down. I mean, it just scared me very much. Terrible situation. We don't understand how it happened or if the other houses are safe. LNI says their clean and seal team worked to dismantle and clear any debris from the collapsed roofs that landed on the sidewalk. They worked quickly into the afternoon. Everything happened on the outside. Thank God it didn't happen on the inside. Then it'd be a different story altogether. Yeah. But I'm just glad I was out the way. People living inside the six impacted homes were all able to go back inside, officials say. Siegel says she has lived on the block for 40 years and never saw anything like this. No warning, no signs of anything getting ready to collapse or anything, nothing. I'm just thankful and grateful that everybody is okay. Nobody got hurt. I really am. So again, a lot of concern tonight about what caused this. There was some speculation on the block that recent rainfall might have contributed to it. But again, a spokesperson for LNI says they are still investigating. Sheba. Kelly, thank you. The new school year.